know the rest of the story now. Uh, people are coming to this show for their information on Ukraine because everywhere else they go, they're getting lied to and they're getting propaganda no matter where they go. And so right now our subscriptions are going through the roof and, um, and our views are doubled. We're up to like 14, 15 million views a month. And that's because of this crisis and the trucker crisis and no one else, even on YouTube, will will dare go against the cult. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Wildcast. Hope you're all doing well out there. In this video, we're going to be talking about foreign policy once again related to the invasion of Ukraine that was done unprovoked by Vladimir Putin, who is now a war criminal, just like George W. Bush. He's being defended by people like Jimmy Dore, who have proven themselves to be actual assets of the Russian imperialist government of Putin. He is pushing anti, uh, anti-Ukrainian, anti anti-American conspiracy theories, which are not true. For the first time, the State Department actually got something right. I was skeptical of the idea that Putin would actually invade Ukraine, but it turns out he did. And the West, in this case, was right. So you had, you had to call the facts down, down the middle, and you had to call it straight when it happens. So I never thought that Putin would invade Ukraine. I made videos saying that because I thought that Putin was a rational person. Uh, apparently, he's lost his mind in the last three years. Up until 2019, he was rational. But in the last three years, something has happened. Most likely, there's been shifts inside of his uh, his advisors, inside his inner circle, who have most likely been taken over by anti-West, like people who actually want to go to war with the West. And that's the only explanation I have for why he's invaded Ukraine. Only real explanation, you know, not the lie, the BS stuff that's being pushed by people like Jimmy Dore. So I used to watch Jimmy Dore's show frequently, and I thought he was awesome because he was fighting uh, back against the Russiagate stuff that Rachel Maddow and TYT and other people were doing. So I'm a fact-based person, right? And uh, the uh, Mueller investigation proved that I was right, that Russia, that Putin and, and Trump were not in bed together, okay? Whatever uh, closeness there was, whatever business uh, deals there might have been, Putin did not help put, uh, Trump win the election. So I'm, I'm always fact-based. I now call Putin a war criminal, but that does not mean that he and Trump work together to steal the election from Hillary Clinton. So I'm a fact-based person. I'm not on anybody's team. I look at what the facts on the ground are, which is why I was against Russiagate back then and supported people like Jimmy Dore. Now I'm against Jimmy Jimmy Dore, and I'm against Putin because he's actually doing something wrong. See, that's how you be a rational person and you call it down the middle and you actually look at the facts and you tell the truth to people. People like Jimmy Dore, whose videos are now all filled with making excuses for Russia and trying to pretend as if this is okay. This is the guy who says he's anti-war. Okay, and Glenn Greenwald, who's turned into an utter disgrace, is doing the same exact thing. Uh, if you look at Jimmy Dore's Twitter feed, it's all bullshit and Aaron Mate is on it because Aaron Mate's entire existence now is dedicated to pretending as if there's a giant neo-Nazi problem in Ukraine and Russia's just fighting back against those evil Nazis. None of this is true, by the way. The the neo-Nazis don't even make up uh, 2% or 1%, I don't think, of the entire military. Yes, there's some of them that have joined the military. That's true. Okay, because um, I don't know if you know, this is an invasion going on and anybody who's willing to fight is basically accepted by the Ukrainian military. But now Nevertheless, I want to call them out because I used to look up to these people. I used to agree with them on a lot of things. And that's because objectively they were doing the right thing. So back in back when Russiagate was going on, Aaron Mate was doing some good reporting. Jimmy Dore was doing some good reporting. And the rest of the media was on this Russia, Russia nonsense. Now, Russia has actually done something bad. So back then, Putin didn't do anything wrong. But now he has done something wrong. And we can prove that he's done something wrong. He's done exactly what Bush did, which is invading invading a foreign country, pretending like they were a threat to us, saying that they have WMDs in, in Iraq war's case, right? And then we also invaded Afghanistan as well, which the Afghan government was not responsible and the Afghan people were not responsible for what happened on 9-11. By the way, Osama bin Laden was in Pakistan. So all the invasions we've done have backfired and that's another excuse. So after the Nazi battalion stuff, which is a bunch of bullshit, every country has Nazis, doesn't mean you get to invade people. OK, and another talking point, a popular talking point for these uh, Putin supporters is to point out the uh, 
the criminal actions of the U.S. Uh, DOD and of uh, people like George W. Bush when they invaded uh, invaded Iraq. So I got into a debate this morning with a moron uh, under this video where I posted this video supporting Russian people and saying that you should not be hating on Russian people. And I posted a Russian English uh, teacher or Russian uh, Russian language teacher uh, who makes videos in English uh, on YouTube uh, named Daria. She's a very nice person. She's been attacked because just because of the fact that she's Russian and she teaches just Russian. Um, some people who watch her videos have sent her uh, messages, hate messages on social media saying that they're, they're going to boycott everything Russian, which is really, really stupid. Our problem is not with the pe uh, people of Russia who have been battered in every single way and uh, and beaten by Putin in, in economically, uh, socially, when it comes to taking away their rights. They've arrested thousands of people um, for protesting. Uh, Jimmy Dore hasn't talked about, made a video about that. There's a cop, there's a, there are videos of cops beating up Russian, uh, Russian anti-war protesters. This is a video. I called out Jimmy specifically because Jimmy used to make videos in America calling out cops who beat up protesters. Now, when when his beloved Putin and his and his uh, police force are beating up regular citizens on the Russian citizens on the street, he, not a word from Jimmy Dore. Instead, he's got videos protecting Putin and his war crimes, to, uh, blaming the Azov Battalion and blaming America for Putin unprovoked invading another country. So Jimmy Dore is a disgrace and uh, he's not uh, anywhere on the left. He's a, a he's a pro-war right winger now and an anti-vaxxer. He doesn't care about facts at all. He's abandoned reality for uh, patrons, for right wing patrons. And Aaron Marte, I don't know what Aaron Marte is doing. Honestly, I'm not going to say that he's right wing, but he's very, very misled. OK, and uh, the rest of the people who are doing this stuff, I don't know what they are. I think they're just brainwashed because they went down the RT rabbit hole and they're believing all the problems propaganda coming out of Russia. But anyways, I got into a debate with a moron called uh, Bruce Jackson, and he didn't like the fact that I posted this video. He called me uh, a Western propagandist. OK, that's your opinion. And so I said, your fucking Putin is the one behaving like an imperialist, uh, like imperialist Bush. Uh, who invaded who? Facts are facts. No matter who says them, the MSM is right this time. And they're right. OK, the MSM, MSM is doing a little bit too much with the no fly zones and, and stuff, and I'm against that. But generally, they're covering the war that's going on right now in Ukraine. And they're right when facts are. I don't like the MSM. I don't like CNN, MSNBC, et cetera, and the other network uh, news shows. But facts are facts. So where does he go? As soon as you call out Putin and his invasion, where does he go? He goes to attack America. So you can see what he's doing here. That's a real courage, courageous stand. The West is currently committing supporting genocide in Yemen, genocide in Palestine, bombing and controlling a third of Syria, as well as sanctions all over the world, creating untold deaths of innocent civilians. The media is silent, but Russia. So that see what he did there? I agree with most of what he said there. OK, we've done horrible things and America's horrible past in foreign policy is not a mystery to anybody. OK, so fine, I'll give him that. What the fuck does that have to do with Russia? What Putin is doing? He tried to use American America's foreign, bad foreign policy to justify R Putin's bad uh, foreign policy. And again, it's not the Russian people who are doing this. It's Putin. So we should stop saying Russia did this. Russia did that. And we should say Putin's war. Putin invaded, etc. Instead of saying Russia, because that that leads to collective punishment of regular Russians like this woman who's done nothing wrong. She's. She's a, she's a great person who hasn't done anything wrong. And most Russians are like that. They have no control over what Putin's doing. So um, so this is what I said. None of that makes what Russia is doing OK. Do you not see how you just tried to change the subject, not to admit what Putin is doing? America is bad, so Russia is good? This is the question I asked him. Uh, you call that logic? How about ob objective reality? Both are bad. What the F is wrong with you? So I don't know what else to say to these people. And I stopped talking to him because he's gone down the RT rabbit hole and he's bought into all the lies that are being told by Putin and his media uh, arms. And he's bought into all this bullshit. This is a guy who was anti-war for most, most of his life and he was one of my followers. Now he's b attacking me because I'm rightly calling out the war crimes the war crimes that are being committed by Putin in Ukraine, okay? I don't care if I'm agreeing with the MSM. I'm t I go where the truth is. I don't listen to the MSM. If you watch my videos, you know that I was attacking the MSM earlier because they were warmongering against Russia. I never believed that Putin would be stupid enough and you know thuggish enough to actually attack Ukraine. I made videos saying that he's not going to attack Ukraine. I turned out to be wrong. The MSM was right, okay? So again... All the excuses that people like Jimmy Dore and Aaron Maté are making, they're all lies. They're all excuses to justify Putin's 
unprovoked invasion. Again, every single country, Sweden, America, Russia itself has neo-Nazi brigades in them. Okay, there are Russian nationalists who've been wanting to go to war with the West for a very long time. That does not justify America invading Russia. Sweden and Germany have leftovers of Nazi battalions, neo-Nazis in their country. In Sweden, it's a very small amount of people. In Germany, there are some uh, prominent groups, although they've been banned uh, publicly at least. But there's still neo-Nazis in every single country, every Western country, and even our Argentina and other countries like that. Even in uh, in Venezuela, there are like right wing uh, uh, supremacist groups who don't like um, uh, the ind indigenous people in those countries. So there's neo-Nazis in every country. And sometimes those neo-Nazis commit violence against minority groups. Like in Russia, when Russian neo-Nazis attack immigrants from Central Asia, nobody ever t talks about invading Russia because that would be crazy. That is the excuse that that Aaron Mate is using. He's, he's using the existence of the Azov Battalion, which does exist, to try to say that what uh, what Putin is doing is okay because there are neo-Nazis in eastern Ukraine. Hey, by the way, Aaron, if, and by the way, that's true, there are neo-Nazi groups in eastern uh, part of Ukraine. Why the fuck is Putin bombing Kiev then and other western parts of Ukraine? Because you're a liar and you're a propagandist for Russia, for, for Putin, not Russia, for Putin, okay? Because if he was just concerned with the neo-Nazis uh, existence, that he would attacking Russians, that he would only be invading eastern parts of Ukraine. But no, he's doing an invasion of the entire country. You're a liar, Aaron, and you're a disgrace. I can't believe I ever looked up to you, okay, and believed your reporting. You're a liar. You're now lying to cover the war crimes of Vladimir Putin. You have become Fox News in 2000, 2001, 2002, and 2003 when they were covering for Bush's war crimes. You are a Colin Powell at the UN lying to the world using holding up a vial trying to pretend like the, that Saddam Hussein has WMDs. You have become the propagandist for the Russian regime. That's what Jimmy Dore is. Jimmy Dore and Aaron Mate and Katie Helper and uh, Glenn Greenwald are all uh, puppets. They're pro-war, pro-Russian imperialist pro puppets for Vladimir Putin. That's what they are. And it's disgusting and it's disgraceful. Because I used to look up to these people. Glenn Greenwald was one of the best journalists that I looked up to because he did the Snowden coverage. He protected Chelsea Manning, spoke in front of uh, for her, and he's been anti-war for most of his life. Now he's gone completely right wing pro-war. He's now defending everybody, everybody on Fox News, defending uh, in indefensible actions by the Republican Party, only attacking uh, Democrats. He's become a partisan hack. I attack Democrats and Republicans because I, I look at what the facts are and what's best for America not simping for one of the two sides. Glenn Greenwald and Jimmy Dore and Aaron Marte and the rest of the people, anybody you see out there pushing this nonsense about the Azov Brigade and about how America's so bad, they're all just simping for Vladimir Putin. They're just trying to protect Putin and his horrible war, war, his uncalled for invasion into another sovereign country. So there you go. Now all the remnants that uh, there's a small group of people who still watch me and Jimmy Dore. Now you can all leave. Okay, you can all be mad and leave. Dislike the video and leave. I don't want your disgusting pro-war asses, pro-invasion and pro-murder asses watching my videos. Please leave. Okay, facts are facts, and even if the MSM is uh, saying them, they're still facts. That doesn't change who's saying them. It could be Hitler saying them. Facts are still facts. Putin invaded Ukraine unprovoked. He is a war criminal, just like Bush. I criticize America and Russia when they do imperialism. Jimmy Dore and Aaron Mate and the rest of them, they, they only criticize American foreign policy. They never criticize Putin. Putin's always right. Whatever Putin does, we support him. That's what they think. That's what they say, okay, with their actions. And they're disgraceful. That's all I got to say for this video. See you guys next time. As always, peace, no more war.